Hey, Meg. Hmm. Time to get up. It's the day, huh? It's the day. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Today's the day. Okay. Okay, okay. What up guys? You know what to do? You're at my castle. I'm going to show you what I do, I'm going to show you how I flow, how I groove, and I'm going to bring it to you. So come in, check it out. Jump in here, we're in Meg's castle. Come check it out. So first you got to sign into the castle. You got your feather, you got your ink, give it a little ring ring. You're going to flow over here to the vines. In the jungle, welcome to the jungle, you're in the mighty castle. Check it out, flow it around. You got your little animals. There's a beautiful art structure. It's really nice and groovy when you're all wobbly. A beautiful piece I got here at the wind. All right, we're flowing here and you got your, what is this? This is like the starry night. This is a really awesome hallway to do photo shoots in. All right guys, this is one of my favorite rooms. This is the Moroccan room. You sit in these cocoons and you spin around all the way to the top. As you spin around, the whole room is a mural, so it's a big, beautiful art structure. The walls turn on, although we don't have those on now, but you're just gonna have to come to the castle to check that out. All right guys, you're checking in the gold room right now. It's like our calm meditation room. Nice zen area. Love these, love these, love these chairs. We're working on that back room right now. It's a, a massage area, but it was a game room. Yeah, I made that, that cake was for my birthday. Like what, three years ago? Yeah, that's all chocolate, yo. L lick it. Then if I wanna lick a dusty cake. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> oh, it does taste good, you're right. <laughs> Alright guys, so first off, this is Morris, the friendly sloth. He is the mascot of the house. Mascot! I got my cards read. This is amazing, actually. This is the queen, the goddess, and she is holding a crystal ball. And the crystal ball is of everything, stating that anything that you vision, imagine, is right in the hands of my hands. So she, she really did a, a great scene on this. We do a lot of our work over here. This is our, this is my imagination book. So I, I can't really dive into this because it's like what I'm gonna create, but like dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so this is our chalk wall. That's not such great chalk. I was gonna draw you a heart. <laughs> Come on over here, we check this out. Megan and to tell you about myself there's a lot to tell I'll give you a little description um, I'm a creative thinker creative artist I collaborate with the world with all the beautiful people that flow around me 
Um, I believe in building my dreams and in building everyone's dreams around me to teach people how to build their dreams. Um, I'm creating a beautiful formula right now, how to decode oneself and grow from the inside out. I have a beautiful castle called Meg's Castle. And we have beautiful sisters here and we flow with each other and we grow and we create. And a beautiful community surrounding me that I've built. It's taken me seven years to build this community. I've got a community in LA and in Miami and a community all, all over the place. You know, just dabbling around. But two dogs, Dakota and Skrillex. And they're great, they're gonna roam around here sometime. You'll catch them. And uh, I've got Cabela back here. She is beautiful, she's jamming. She looks like an owl. She reminds me of an owl um, with her big, beautiful eyes. Um, I have a few companies. My first company was Lux, and Lux is a, a beautiful growing company. It's been top agency four years in a row out here in Vegas. We're Vegas, LA, Miami based. And we've got about 300 ladies on the roster. And we set clients itinerary up from start to finish. So it's two companies and one is a concierge company and it's a modeling company as well. This was the first picture I ever drew for my village. And then there's another photo, my second draw out here. Um, and then behind me, oh, well, Makes Castle 2.0. So we're pu I'm pushing love and energy and pushing the vision of manifestation towards Makes Castle 2.0. I would create massive, massive events here. Um, a solid thousand people easily would walk into these events and it would be amazing. Maybe it was a Halloween event, maybe it was something spacey, we had a space oasis party. Maybe it was a 420 event, maybe it was a full moon event. So we're really doing all sorts of types of gatherings and creations and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on hold here because of HOA, so everything kind of just like eh, got cut, you know, detour, a little here, a little there. I had a few letters, it wasn't just one, and I had an attorney on this place, and I had multiple HOA um, letters come to me, and then I had to battle out for a while, and uh, it's because I created all of these massive events. It started out, you know, like, pretty small and then you know we just kept booming it up to creating the best events out here uh, a lot of hands-on so maybe you'd go into a bathroom and you'd see an opera singer just full force like singing opera as you're going to the restroom maybe you'd open an area up and there's Cirque performers hanging from the ceiling doing Cirque du Soleil or there's robots that are blowing out fire so we do a lot of a nice burner touch to it as well we do leave no trace everyone respects the grounds that they're on you know you all have to take your shoes off before coming into the house <laughs> Yeah, I've got a handful of sisters that I've been calling in. I'm asking for seven sisters and six brothers to come in and be strong, structured around my visions, around their visions, um, just to be on the same energy field, to grow with each other, to vibrate with each other, to love each other, and just explore this beautiful world with each other. You know, strong, structured soul brothers, soul sisters. Now that's amazing, and uh, I have a handful of beautiful ladies here. We're testing the waters out and they're strong and they're beautiful and I'm learning them and they're learning me. And 
yeah, I vision growing with them to the end. Well, my name is Morgan Marie Bruin. I go by Momo. I am from Kentucky, at Kentucky Honey on Instagram. And I'm my favorite person. What do I do for fun? <laughs> I'm sure you'd like to know. <laughs> I love to um, listen to music, shake my little bum bum with it. I really love hiking and camping and getting bit by mosquitoes. It's kind of something I'm into and I also love hula hoop dancing. Woo! What inspires me and what are my hobbies? Well, let's see. Smiles inspire me, seeing other people happy, so I'm inspired to say hello to homeless people when I walk past them just to get a small glimpse of joy from them. Um, another thing that inspires me is Mother Nature. Um, being around her really inspires me to be more cool with my growing evolution process. She kind of just does her thing regardless of the weather. Um, and my hobbies include shaking my tail feather like nobody's watching. Another thing is I love impersonating, so I have many personalities that I go through. Um, I like doing that. I really like making people laugh and feel uncomfortable. Um, let's see, what else do I like to do? I like to run around outside naked, like my mother's chasing me. So this is a CBD hemp joint, and this medicine, even THC, marijuana, weed, has really just been a master plan along my journey. It's really helped me with depression, anxiety. Um, so when I smoke this, I don't just smoke it to consume. I smoke it with like gratitude and appreciation for everything this plant has created for so many people. There's so many kids right now that have are able to have normal lives right now because of CBD, because of marijuana. So I sit with this medicine every day and it's really helped me get out of some of my most dark, dark nights. How do I know Meg? Well, I met Meg in this castle two weeks before I moved here. Uh, she had a full moon ceremony and I came to one because I was invited by our friend Harold um, to come and see what she's into because he knew me and he knew her and he was like, you both are super sheroes and you need to combine superpowers. So I came here to a full moon ceremony and I moved in here two weeks later. Now they can't get rid of me. Hello, I'm Luna Ross Darshine, and I am a creatrix. I create events, I create workshops, courses, I'm the founder of Goddess Alchemy. I'm also a DJ and an aspiring music producer. I met Meg first on social media through her Instagram account, and I was following Meg for a while before I actually met her in person. I ran into her at a spiritual store, Enchanted Forest. Meg's castle is a magical fortress um, that's really a creative space that invites the curious and gets you out of your head. It's like a hidden world within Las Vegas. And what Meg's actually created is a space for creatives to come and do photo shoots collectively and also create together. And right now we've got seven magical sisters here and we're all working on creating multiple projects together, including a, a village. I am very inspired by people who are living their passion and doing that every single day. Um, I love art of all forms and I've always been an artist. I love people who take risks and follow their heart no matter what that means. My best friend. Uh, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I have seven best friends all living in the castle, including Momo, Tara, Megan, 
Eden. Really cool. Oh, that's fine. Uh, right now, my main passion is art uh, in multiple mediums, but specifically music and creating music. So that's what I'm venturing in right now. We're forming a group called the Peace Poppers, and that consists of dance and conscious hip hop and fun music. I am a channel. I consider myself a channel. So I read uh, oracle cards. I read energy, but I also use that through my music and I channel my higher self through my voice. Uh, okay, something outrageous. I am not who I say I am. I'm not who you think I am. I am a multi-dimensional being, not from planet Earth. I am from universal consciousness, from source, delivered right here to deliver you this cosmic message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're waiting for the message. And the message is... This reality is an illusion, and you're an illusion, but it's all good. No stress. <laughs>
Can I put this breathing note up? Breathe through the tummy. Don't forget it, honey. That's good for your diaphragm. Yeah. Fix it a diaphragm. Hi, I'm Cherokee Eden, and I'm a cosplay anime Barbie doll. I live in this magical castle reality, only sometimes I'm Meg's personal fairy, giving everything a sparkly touch. I love to DJ, dance, I dance in music videos, I go-go dance on stages all over Las Vegas and the world. I'm an international model published and on the cover of magazines. I'm an amazing body paint model. I've been featured by Robin Slonina, one of the judges of the television show Skin Wars, if you've ever seen it. I like to paint and I have lots of fun props I like to dance with that I really want you guys to see. I dance with a fiber optic LED whip from Glow Effects. I dance with silk fans that are like rainbows. I dance with these rainbow ribbons. Sometimes I hula hoop, but I'm not very good at hula hooping yet. It's just for fun. Um, I love doing yoga and spending time in the gym, getting really fit. And I love dressing up and doing cosplay. And my most favorite thing in the world that I do is I'm a musician, I sing and songwrite and produce music as High Monarch with the amazing artist Damien J from Undisputed Grooves. That's my project I'm working on and my single out now is called Bright Lights. I met Meg at her 420 party last year. I came as a model through her agency, you know, to promote Models to You, the app that Meg has created for all of us. I love Meg. She is such an amazing character and entrepreneur and kind soul. We've traveled together. We've been to Catalina, Mexico. But what I really do with Meg is deep spiritual work. I'm in training to become a shaman. And Meg is on this journey of self-discovery and enlightenment and self-empowerment and empowering the world with her voice. And I am the little fairy behind the scenes that gets to help her on that journey. Meg's castle is where we all come together and create and manifest and meditate and have dance parties and get a little bit wild, get a little bit crazy, get a little bit naked. You know, <laughs> whatever happens, happens. It's like being in Wonderland. <laughs> What's up, Skiz? Um, so, what's going on for the 420 party this year? Yeah, I'm trying to... Um, I'm debating right now, man. we got two options. So, let's go over them. And everyone's blowing me up right now, too. I'm like, just What's rocking? Question marks. What are your plans for the 420? Are you throwing anything epic? What's happening for the 420 party this year? Meg Meg, what's going down for the 420 party? <laughs> hey, what are you doing for the 420? Do you want to come and get Botox? Well, I'll answer that one. Uh, <laughs> <I> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna come to me. I got it. Go. Go. I am Allie, otherwise known as Pillow Fight. I do modeling out here in Las Vegas, and I would say I am the host of everyone to have a great time. I, I feel like my superpower is to keep it real with everyone and let people know the truth. No need to lie. So I'll keep it very straightforward. I, what I wish I had was invisibility. What do I do for fun? I love to go surfing. 
I love to go hiking. I love to eat amazing food. I love to go shopping. My favorite type of music is hip hop because I love to twerk my ass. I like to look beautiful. I met Meg through life. Just life just hit us and I just moved to Vegas recently. She knows everyone in the industry. She's the girl to go to. And ever since then, we've been unstoppable. Well, my name is Pillow Fight. I would love to create a massive pillow fighting event and also sell pillow fighting pillows. <laughs> Meg's castle is very big. There are a few women who live here, seven girls. They are very strong women. They all hold their own part. And keeping this world rotating, this castle is amazing. Meg has built all of it. It's been very beautiful. I think I want to be a peace popper. So Meg, it's almost time for 420. I think maybe you might want to consider calling the girls to have a meeting to discuss mm. what to do. All right. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, now's the time, eh? Okay. All right, let's do it. Sis, sisters! What up, sisters? What's rocking? How you doing? Good. Right. Okay. How are you? Okay. Stoked to tell you some stuff. Yes. What's up? So I've been thinking, and I think it's time that we start planning and figuring out where we want to throw the 420 event. Okay. I, yeah, I threw a really wicked one here last year with many, many vendors, and it was amazing but I can't create something like that here again. Right. So we can just, I don't know, let's figure out where we wanna drop, drop it down, you know? Yeah. How about we do a deep meditation on it and visualize like the perfect setting? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Okay. okay, rock on. Sure, let's do it. Should we do it right here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So let's everyone see. get comfy. <sighs> Dope. So what, we should just, you know, take a breath and jump into our third eye? Yeah, just take a deep breath. Make sure you're comfy. Yeah, your palms are open to receive the energy of the universe. And close your eyes and focus on your third eye. Mm, okay. And just imagine us all out in, out somewhere in the perfect place. Maybe somewhere in nature. Maybe it's a home. Walt Disney. Ah, oh, Walt, I feel you and I see you. I see the vision that is to be created. As I stand here learning and growing each day, reconstructing myself to my purest. I understand. Having so much fun. Mm. 420. I got it. What is it? Oh, yeah. Dude, I think we should do it at the dry lake beds. Dry lake that. beds? Like yeah, it. it just like went bang. Mm. We should have a bungee jumper. Stars, moon. That feels really good. Yeah, there's a lot of energy there. Bonfire. Good music. Hmm. Sweet on music, Luna. I cannot wait till we DJ. <laughs> Eden, do you want to DJ at the party? On 420? Yeah. I can't. I'm oh, DJing oh, for yeah. this other event. I'm already on the like headliner for it. I'll rock on. 
You want to hold it but down with me, Luna? I got it. You good, Miss Kitty Cat? We'll miss you. I'll miss you. <laughs> Peace Poppers can do a performance. That'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be, cool. That'd be wicked. That'd be super cool. I just had a vision. Get a semi truck up in the happy. Yeah. Yes. Throw the peace poppers up on that. Yeah. Yeah. Get on the stage. <laughs> peace poppers coming through. We coming through. We coming through. Guys, that, oh, that song you did, I keep listening to it. It's so good. Which oh, one, Eden? What's your song called? Change it. Change it. Change it. Change it up. What? Change it. You like Peace it? Poppers, change it up. I love it. Change it up. If you don't like it, then change it. Change it. Mm -hmm. Life is what you make it. Don't like it, then change it. These poppers repping it like yo, hey yo, hey yo. Peace poppers, they be dropping like hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Fall 20. We about to smoke so much weed out in the desert. So we have a photo shoot tomorrow, right? Okay. Yeah. So let's do a fast tidy up, leave no trace, and then let's just do whatever you want to do. Okay. okay. Let's make one million dollars. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. What do I do with you, lady? How about a trillion, bazillion, quadrillion slash empire forever? <laughs> 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 So the 420 party is going to be wicked, of course, but a, a lot different. Instead of using the castle, I'm going to throw it out at the dry lake beds um, with a bunch of mountains and the stars, and it's super wicked. It's not just 420, it's the full moon and it's Easter, so all three in one day is just going to be life-changing, and I create to change lives. I create to touch you deep down inside. I create for you to tell me that you feel a different way, that you've grasped onto something while you were here in this beautiful scene that I created for you. Um, not for me, for you. And so we're going to jam it out and I'm sure the world's going to be like, mate, what are you doing? You're bringing the castle out. Yeah. <laughs> and I wonder what's going to happen after I bring the castle out. And so we're going to do a ton of workshops. A lot of growth from the inside out, Tai Chi, Qigong, um, yoga, a lot of healing ceremonies, massages, running wild in the desert.
get a sense of style. Where'd I get so my style at? Uh, yeah, I am from a small town. Like people to this day are in cowboy boots, cowboy hats, stirrups, you know, they're like, yeah. <laughs> Wow, I mean, I guess it just came, it came with my imagination and my visions. Yeah, it did. I remember going to the malls and being like, oh, this is boring, this is boring, this is boring. I don't like it. And then when I'd order online, it was super cool. But everything I would order online was just coming out like, like what happened here, yo? So, I, I have my own style. I like to rep beautiful, amazing, brands of all sorts so I will be your brand ambassador. Get your girl Meg up. Catch me at Pimp Meg. And why is my name Pimp Meg? Let's ask that question. Let's ask that question. Why is your name Pimp Meg? Alright, well like let me just give you a little like <sighs> I had a drum, I'd be like doing the drum roll for you. Pimp Meg! My name is Pimp Meg not because of any other reason but the fact that I pimp what I do. I create and I pimp that I create. You know, like I vision and I do it. I have all of these companies and I do it, you know. I have beautiful sisters around me because that's what I want. My name is Pimp Meg because that's what I want. So I create and you see that your girl's pimping because she's doing all of this stuff, so. You're not gonna forget that name. Why is it called Meg's Castle? Well, because this is my house and it's big like a castle. So Meg's Castle. Uh, that one just, like, I don't even know how I received that name, to be honest. But since I was younger, I envisioned I wanted an Escalade. I envisioned I'm gonna have a huge house. I, I envisioned, you know, that I'm gonna be creating. And I mean, I continue to vision. I, be the next Walt Disney and I can go on and tell you my visions but I'd rather you actually see me now and see me when all of them come to life so yep I'm in a castle because I told myself I was gonna be in a castle all right guys so you just see my badass castle now I'm gonna show you the garden but before let's take a breath and now indulge. <laughs>